hopefully this time in eight weeks we shall see a difference in my skin and my confidence Woo! Wednesday me, I'm just getting ready, but I thought I'd film this before I did my makeup. So today's video is going to be quite a long one. I started filming this about about four months ago. Basically this video is going to be the journey of me getting my clear skin back. So I think it was around end of June last year in the first lockdown. I've always had like really clear skin. I'd get one or two pimples. Obviously that's just being a teenager, isn't it? But I'd always have really clear skin, like don't really have to worry about skincare or anything. I'd always use the Dove Beauty Bar Soap. I like, always did. My mum always told me to use just that. My nan said, just use warm water and a bar of soap and your skin will be good. And it always was. I always had really nice skin, no troubles at all. Until last year when all of a sudden my skin just broke out all around my mouth, some on my forehead, really painful spots like whiteheads and then I got really bad over Christmas. So after a few months I called the doctor, asked to be put on some medication for my skin and he put me on Lime Cycling. So at first, like obviously it brings all the spots out doesn't it when you first go on skin medication so my skin went even worse, it was really painful and swollen, it was all really nasty red spots on here. I'll put some photos in of what it was like and my skin was really dry and flaky but to be fair I was lucky because I was in lockdown on my own for a while so I could just let my skin breathe no makeup just putting spot cream on doing my meds and letting it all just come out okay I just got back from the pharmacy I picked up my pills on my skin I have to go back and get the rest of them because I didn't have them all there yet but I got enough for this month so here we go called Limus I can't say that. Limacis line. Take once daily, space the doses evenly throughout the day. Okay, don't say anything about food or anything. I guess I just take it. I'll take it like around the same time. I don't like I have anywhere to be, is it? Not that I'm going to be here every day. Preferably in the morning. Uh, it's one o'clock. But I'll take it now. To be fair, I probably wake up around one o'clock every day, so that's kind of my morning, isn't it? I'll take it now, and then I'll take it around this time every day. With a glass of water. How long you'll have to take lime saline? Can't say it, man. Capsules for will depend on how quickly your condition improves. For acne, this will normally be at least eight weeks. When's my birthday? In a month. Uh oh, that's okay. Maybe it. Maybe you'll be alright with my birthday. Fingers crossed. Hopeful. Okay, whoa, look at them. They're huge. I <laughs> hope the pill is not big. What the heck? Oh, why is it so big? Paracetamol is usually like those little skinny things. What the hell is that? Oh, it's only little. That's okay. I don't know why it's in such a big thing. Why is it in such a big, like, pocket thing? Whatever. Okay. Woo! Here we go. This is a glass of water, so I've been going for quite a lot. <sighs> Woo! I feel like a new woman already. Let's go. Hopefully, this time in eight weeks, we shall see a difference in my skin and my confidence. Woo! Okay. See you. So I went to check. I think I to check in every week, shall I? What day is it today? Wednesday. Checking every Wednesday. I feel like that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. So, skin check. Skin check. Da, 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 da. Not looking too great. See you in a week. Okay. So, skin update number two. It's two weeks since I last did a skin update. And um, honestly, not much of a difference. There is a bit like my skin, I don't have to explain it. My skin feels different, if that makes sense. Like it's starting to feel more like my skin. But obviously you can see it's still quite a lot of spots, but they're mostly like, they're very dry. My skin's gone really dry, which I think is the medication working. But there's like a, still a couple like actual spots you can see. But this is me out of the shower. I haven't put anything on my face, like no moisturizer or anything yet. You can see like it's flaky. That's how dry it is. 
And like you do like scarring from the spots I've already gone. But they that heals quite quickly to be fair. Because I did have one over here and this like scar's gone like after a week. But yeah, week two, spots are calming down, still a couple, but my skin's very dry. But I have been using that epidural gel on each of the spots and that's I think that's what's making it like extra dry as well because it dries your skin out and like flakes the spots off. So I think that's what's happening over here. But yeah, not a lot of progress so far, but it's only week two. We shall see in another couple of weeks. See you in two weeks. Okay, so it's, um, it's the next day after that previous clip. My skin's looking alright to be fair. Woke up with this guy, which is fun. But besides that, it's okay. But I've woken up with a rash all on my neck. And I did my research about the tablet and quite a few people said they had a rash on their neck like a few weeks in so I'm not freaking out, I'm guessing that's normal and it's just the medicine working. But it's really itchy, it's like what I imagine eczema to be like. Quite a few friends have it and that's what I imagine it like. And it looks like it as well, it was really itchy. And I was itching it in my sleep I think which isn't good. So I'm going to put moisturiser on it, hopefully it'll calm down but I just thought I'd update you on that. Yeah. That's gonna annoy me all day. I'm gonna try not to pick it. Oh, it's really sore though. I'm just gonna put some of that epidural cream on it and hope it'll calm down. Okay, see you in a couple of weeks. Hi. Okay, so week since my last skin update, I've got moisturizer on now, straight out of the shower. And it's looking a bit better. Like it looks quite red now because I've just got out of the shower and like rubbed moisturizer in my face. But honestly, it's looking a lot better. There's no like white, like serious white hairs like there was before. It's mostly just a bit of scar and like spots that are healing. Like there's a couple under the skin here. But overall, it's getting better. I think the meds are starting to like proper work now. Skin's still really dry. That's why I'm shiny. I've got loads of moisturizer on. But I think we're getting there. <laughs> Slowly but surely. It's week four, I think. Yeah. So, pretty good for week four. My skin's starting to feel more like my skin again, even more now. <sighs> starting to feel a bit better about myself. I put makeup on twice this month, I think. On my own, in lockdown, for the whole month. And I think that's really helped. Like, I've just been able to let my skin be and, like, walk around the house with like, spot cream on and let it breathe and sort itself out. So, I feel like that's really helped. But yeah, see you in a week or maybe two weeks for the next update. Bye. Skin update. It is week six i think i'm on to second second month of antibiotics now this is an update i've got like some spot cream on the epiduo but i had like a really bad outbreak last week because like everything came up again probably because i was wearing makeup like a full week the week of my birthday like that can't be helped i know i should wear makeup less but if it doesn't go soon i don't know what i'm gonna do because when we go back to uni after summer you literally have to be doing makeup on each other and the thought of that makes me want to cry like my literal degree is doing makeup on each other how am i gonna do that if my skin's like this i oh. If it's not gone in another month, I'm gonna have to bring my doctor and be like, I need something better than this. I can't do this anymore. Maybe this is just it all coming out and it'll be gone by the time I finish the three months. I hope so, I really do. I've not been picking them. I've just been letting them come up. I've already got like scarring though, cause when I don't pick them and I let them just like build and build, sometimes I wash my face or like when I'm drying my face, the heads will like come off as I'm like drying my face or wash my face. Like that can't be helped. And then I've got scars. I'm trying my best, I'm trying to be patient, but it's starting to get to me, I'm not going to lie. I just miss my old skin so much. <sighs> trying to be patient. See you for the next update. Hopefully you'll be better by then. Okay, so it's the 20th of February, so a little skin update. I've woken up this morning and I've got no new spots. I've literally not been picking them at all, I've just been letting them be. There's just a couple here, but they're like going down, like they're no longer sore or anything, not painful. They're just disappearing. Um, I feel like it's starting to finally work, like properly, and I'm feeling good. I'm not going to get my hopes up though, because this has happened a few times, and then the next week I break out again. But, so far, so good. See you next time. Hi, okay, skin update. I've just started the last box of my skin medication and it appears my skin has gotten worse, which is brilliant. Why is that? I don't know. Starting to lose hope. <laughs> oh, and they, I just don't think they're working. I thought they were for a while, but it's just gone bad again. If you hear a noise, it's because my kettle's boiling, my coffee, but yeah. Don't know what to do. I've decided to cut out meat 
and I don't drink milk anymore. Today is actually one week of me being veggie, but I'm still eating fish, but no meat. So hopefully that might help my skin a bit. I've <sighs> got a feeling I'm gonna have to go on different medication when I finish this last box, but that's the skin update. Not really a positive one, but this is part of the journey, I guess. <laughs> See you next time. Good morning everyone, excuse the state of me, it is half eight in the morning but I just got off the phone with my doctor, he's put me on another three months of the Lymocycline because I'm on the last little thing of tablets now and the last two weeks my skin has actually like been doing pretty well. All of this is just scarring now and I've got no new spots, I haven't had any new spots for like almost a week which is a lot for me, usually I get like five new ones a day so I think it might be starting to work now we're at the end of the first three months. So he's put me on another three months and I've got to go pick them up now from the pharmacy. But it's starting to work, I think. I know I've said that before and it hasn't, but it is at the end of the three months course, so it should be doing something and it is. So another three months, feeling hopeful. Hello. Okay, so it's been like a good few weeks now since my last skin update because my skin's been like really clear recently and I wanted to like make sure it wasn't like the, all the other times it's cleared up and then come back straight away and it isn't it's, I literally like haven't had like a breakout for almost a month honestly I can't believe it. I'm so happy I've got like tan on my face right now but you can see hang on let me go in the sun it's a bit bright probably be able to look at you <laughs> but I think you can see that like I've got still got like scarring on my cheeks but that's like to be expected you know but there's no spots I got my period next week, so I had like a pimple here a couple of days ago, but that's normal. I always get them like just before my period. But besides that, the actual acne, no white heads, it's all gone. I can't believe it, I'm so happy. But like, yeah, I still got scarring, but obviously that'll just go with time. Or even if I like have some scarring for life, I honestly don't even care. The fact that my skin's just back to normal now, yeah, I'm literally so happy. So I've got um, just one box left. So I've already done one three month course. I'm on my second three month course and I'm, I'd say two or three trays in, I think. So I've got one, two, three, I've got six of these left and then I'm done. I'm not sure what's gonna happen if I keep staying on them because I don't know if I completely stop on the tablets, will it come back? I don't know. Obviously that's something I'll update you on in the future. But for now, finally, my skin has cleared up. It's gone back to normal. I could not be happier. I'm literally ecstatic. Just in time for uni to end. <laughs> and just in time for hot girl summer. I'm literally so happy. I'm just happy like just to be able to wear no makeup again and not feel self-conscious. Even when I did have really bad acne, you know, I'd go outside with no makeup on because I don't really care. It's only spots, a lot of people get them. But at least I don't have to think about it now. Not feel so insecure, which is nice. So yeah, lime recycling. In the first three months, I didn't think it was working. I thought we'd have to go on new medication, but my doctor said, try another three months and we'll see what happens. And it worked. And it hasn't even been the full three months yet. So happy. 